Look. Hey guys, I'm on my way to Barnes & Noble to get Camila, uh, her debut album, and Bourne's debut album, Blue, not debut album, but his album, Blue Madonna, and look, that's really cute. I took some pictures here. And I'm just, can we do it that, this way? Would this way be better? Yeah. So I'm just um, really excited. I haven't bought a CD in like three months, I'd say. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Oh my God, the light's terrible. Legari. Look at these. Isn't that cute? But then there's like this old freaky guy. Or like one of those freaky cats from like Lady and the Tramp. But like I'm sure this is promoting something. Do you know what this is promoting? No. It's just really nice. Yes. <laughs> that was me like trying to have like some some conversation with uh, with some foreign people who don't speak English. Yeah, okay. I think this video is gonna be really terrible, but I'm like very excited. Oh look! That's something I've never understood, how like the Trump Tower is like guarded so much. Um, it's like they're calling for like some disaster to happen. Like obviously I don't want that, but I just kind of feel like when you like send people to guard something, it just makes it be more standing out in the world and then you want to do something crazy. If my phone keeps cutting off, I'm just gonna give up on this, but um, yeah, I just, I just did my NYU audition this morning. I think it went very well. If anyone from NYU is watching this, I really want to go to your school. Um, yeah. You guys, I just ran into something that I know y'all are gonna love. Wait, let me. I'm obviously not gonna buy a coach bag like that, you know? I don't think that'd look good on me, so. See you later, Salalala. On the tour, that's hopefully this summer. <coughs> that's really pretty too, before the cars overrun it. Stuart Witzman. With Stuart Witzman. Tommy Hilfiger. Wait, I had this friend called Hilfiger. So I'm like, I literally thought it was the Hill Finger store. I didn't know it was like Hill Finger, figure. Hill Finger. That make, yeah. I'm sure some like rap artist has rhymed that with like another word. Hill Finger. In a very dirty song. If they haven't done that, I'm gonna send that to like Nicki Minaj or Cardi B or someone. Or Drake. I like Drake too. So I'm gonna do that. All these people are like staring at me. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do this again. Tell me if I should do this again. So um, I'm just, oh my God. Some people are just like freaking me out. <laughs> We're almost at Barnes and Noble, you know what? I think I'm just gonna stop. Oh, here's a good one. Armenegildo Zegana. Okay, good to know. Things in cursive. Like, I can never understand why people have to spell in cursive. Because I do not know what that I Salvatore Fifth. Oh, it's Ferragamo. Oh, well. My sister loves that, but they have like gold columns. Like, Jesus Christ. She on the floor, who take it out for me, for me, for me, for me now, girl? There's she on the floor. Ooh. Now, every time I pass this thing, I always feel like, like I'm in like Europe, like in London or France, 
Because what is this thing doing, like, in the middle of the city where, like, all of the, all of the money-lusting people and everything are? Like, and you just put this gigantic cathedral? Makes absolutely no sense. Look at that. That's really pretty Louis Vuitton. I love those colors. <laughs> where is it? Wait. Sorry. It said Gucci. Jesus, I swore it read Gucci. I was gonna sing fetish. Ooh, I'm gonna wear something like that. Like, like that. That looks really cool. Would I look good with that? You've got a fetish for my life. TGI Friday should be extremely thankful for Katy Perry for giving them all that business with her number one song. Like, I would have never wanted to go to TGI Friday had I not heard that song, so. Yes. <coughs> is really cool. Oh my god. I almost want to... Oh my god, you guys. This is like heaven for me. I love like crazy lights. This is why I like cities. Oh my god. I'm gonna take a picture of this way. I'm gonna post all these pictures on my Instagram. Why would you name the store Guess? Like, that's asking like me to guess what? Like, what type of clothes do you sell? Like, that's a really stupid name to name a store Guess. Like, oh, look what we have. Oh my God, that guy looks really weird. He looks like a monkey, like about to attack. Okay, we're here. We're at Barnes and Noble. Okay, I'm gonna check if they have the CD at the front and then I'll let you guys know once I get in there. Hot doggies. I like the, the dog. You know, I always wanted like those fake dogs like that moved and talked to you, like those pets. <gasps> Look at that gorgeousness. That's the most hideous album cover I've ever seen. I hated that Sam Smith album cover. Again, like I'm gonna get the CD, but the vinyl, oh my God. Lana Del Rey's the queen. This was very alternative. If you like alternative sounding music to put you to sleep, go listen to this. The Selena tracks are awesome too, so. I met another Selenator and she's really excited for the album too. So, I'm telling you, I'm going, I'm, I'm doing like my first vlog thingy, my second. So, the guy just gave me a, an idea to go around and get the album. Because I don't like trick them into thinking like I'm cool. I'll tell them if I want to do the cool thing. Because it's like, it's, you plan all these things. I'm like, oh, where is it? <laughs> okay, let's do it. The back cover is really cute. So, yay, we got it. Um, I think I'm going to do an unboxing of this, um, which is going to be hard for me because I want to open it like right after I buy it, but we'll see what happens. And I'm also buying What's His Face's album, The Borns. Yeah, I'm buying his album because it's really good. It's, why would you name yourself Borns? So like, it, I would never listen to someone named that, so but now you have another fan. Thanks to Lana Del Rey, who um, was on that song with him called God Save Our Young Blood. I got really excited for that album. Um, even though that's one of the worst songs on the album, Lana Del Rey's amazing, and she's on two songs on the album. That one in the title track, Blue Madonna, so it's like really cool. This album is also really, really good. Um, the 2020 Experience. Is it only part two? Yeah. But part two is better than part one. But I think I already have part one. I just haven't heard it a lot since I don't like it that much. I was going to buy this because it's like her second best album to Loud. Or third best to Loud and Rated R. It's $21. I'm not doing that for like two trading cards and extra pictures like 
give me a poster and a DVD on the making of the album, and then I'll pay the $21. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all don't know this, Avril Lavigne is, like, my favorite um, rocker, sort of rocker. And they have her best album here, and I love it. Look, it's Goodbye Lullaby. What? That's so cheap. Um, so yeah, everyone go listen to that album. It's really good. It has everything you could ever want in an album. It has ballads. It has, like, weird songs about sex. It has songs about, like, a divorce. It has everything you could ever want about love in it. So go get that. <laughs> no, I would never ever play this album i think i tried but i was so scared by that album cover like look at that that's the scariest thing i've ever seen in my life like everyone's raving about this but it's so weird it's like an like an alien or like even scarier than an alien God. like no no wonder this flopped <laughs> they have my other favorite album of all time I'm actually wearing the shirt. Let's see if I can do like a like a back to back of my the CD and the revival shirt. <laughs> this probably looks really awkward, but see, it's like an artistic. See, there's it. There it is on the album, and here it is on the shirt. And as I told you, the um, the girl who's like saying hey to everyone as they come up the escalator is a is a selenator. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I love I love meeting Selena Gomez fans because she doesn't have as many fans as everyone thinks. She only has people that follow her because like they think she's pretty. Um, but. I think she has so much more to offer than just being pretty and nice. Obviously, since her last album is like one of the most inspirational ones for me. So, album was terrible. Don't ever listen to it. It's awful. So, I got the CDs and I only bought the two CDs I came here to buy. And I'm going to unbox it for you later tonight. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah. I need to go to Verizon. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. This is going to be a really weird video. I have no idea how I'm going to edit it, but I hope you like it. Peace out. Or peace in, actually. I'd rather have the peace in than the peace out, you know what I mean?